Hello and welcome to VBAR 101. I'm Frederick Mellin, aka Mr. Mel. Today I'm gonna go over how to install the drivers. This is very common. People are running uh, their first VBAR and they cannot get connection. And this is, it's Windows. It's like this. Uh, if you install drivers first, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. But I manage Actually, why I haven't done this video before is I never had a computer that had this problem, so it was hard to replicate. But now I have a computer which has no drivers, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So I have my VBAR connected and powered, connected via USB, and the power is running to it, but as you see here, no connection. How should I do it? Well, go into Start, and right click on computer and properties. If you have older windows it might be different ways but what you want to do is you want to find a device manager. Here we have a link for the device manager and when I click that well guess what here we have a VSTAR virtual flybar controller with an exclamation mark on it meaning there is no driver loaded. If we double click on this one the driver for this device is not installed. So, it's quite simple. You already have the drivers installed. When you downloaded the software from VStabi uh, and you install it on your hard drive, you also install the driver automatically. So what you're going to do is right click, update the driver software and then select browse my computer. Now, where should I browse? Okay, when you have 64-bit windows, it's under program files x86. If you have only 32-bit uh, windows, it's under, under program files. But on this 64-bit, I'm going on a program files, then I go to uh, my VStab installation, it's called VStab 5.52 for the 5.2 version. Under here, I actually have a directory called driver. Under there, I have two different drivers. Now, you can select this one and try and see if it finds it. If it doesn't, you can try either one of those and see if it finds the correct driver. I'm going to try here, driver, and next. And now it finds the driver and then I ask, okay, should I trust Mikado? Yes, I want to trust it. Always trust it. Install. And... Now it's installing the drivers. If for some reason it hangs there, it's usually an antivirus program that's interfering. And now it's no exclamation mark, meaning, guess what? We have connection. This is what's needed to get everything going. 